Hey and welcome back to another Darkfold tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at how to optimize our workflow by creating a new startup scene. So when you start Blender um, you might tend to delete the cube, change this to cycles, you may even stretch out the things over here or add a new window, whatever it is you do to make it you feel comfortable before you begin. Um, it's annoying that you have to do that every time. So there's actually a way we can save it once and every time we open up a new scene um, it'll be exactly how you want it to be. So just go through these settings here by changing it, all the things that you generally change. Um, I always change the render size and the samples as well. So let's just change these to say 50. 50 is not a great amount, but it's enough to see, you know, to preview what we were doing. Um, also, you might want to change the performance. So if we come down here to performance, and this will help you give you a faster render depending on the tile size. So 256 by 256 works well for me. Um, you just want to play around with these settings, see what works for you and what gives you a faster result. So say we're happy with all these settings now, we've changed everything, we've gone through everything and we want to save this. So if we come up to here to file and then down to save startup file and then it'll give us this uh, safety option so we press yes again or press ok. So now every time we open up a new scene in Blender it'll be exactly how we set it this time. So we don't need to worry about going through and deleting the cube again or changing it to cycles or doing all the things that we had to do previously. It's going to save us a lot of time before we even start you know, modeling or animating or whatever it is you want to do. So say for example you want to have a few windows or you want to have a few different views. You can set all this up once and then give it a save and then when you come in the next time, yeah, it's already optimized and you're ready to go. So hopefully this quick tip helped and um, there'll be some more quick tips in the future. So hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.